Hello everyone and welcome to another beginner's guide for the Division 2 in 2024. In this one I am covering Kenley College in its entirety. Kenley College is an off-site activity on the Division 2 which is otherwise known as an expedition and it's the only one they ever did because I think it flopped that badly they just didn't do it again. It is a timed event which you can only do when it is active which means if it's not active right now you'll need to wait for the next time it does become active and although it flopped and people don't really like it there are some stuff to get here including 11 collectibles that you may want if you're a completionist there's three backpack trophies that you may want and while you're going through the expedition there's three secret loot rooms and it's another way of getting the exotic diamond back rifle by completing the whole of kenley college so today i'm going to be showing you how to do all of that while giving you tips along the way on how to complete the expedition there is so much information in this video that everything is timestamped down below in the video description if you just want to skip parts. And if any of this video does help you today, please drop a like and drop a comment down below to let me know. I'd appreciate it. So here's Kenley College on the DC map. It's just next to where Countdown is in between Manning National Zoo as well. And you can see here that it is currently active at the time of making this video. In the top left hand corner there, it's available for 7 more hours and 52 minutes. So I've just got in in time to do this guide. Once this time is gone, it will not be available again. And I'm not 100% what the rotation is. It'll say that it's unavailable. And I believe it may give you a countdown as to when it next goes live. The first time that you land at Kenley College, you'll notice this expedition status right in front of you. And you'll see that there's a Kenley Library, Kenley Metro Station, and a Kenley Student Union. Each one has daily loot available while the expedition is active, which means you can come back here and loot it every single day if you want to. Here is a quick look at the Kenley College map. To the right side of the map, you've got the library. The metro station is in the center. Just north of that is the union. And once you've completed all of those, I believe you've got to go in order the first time. So library, station, and union. And once all three are completed, you'll unlock the Kenley Chapel, which is the final room. And it's just a loot room where you get the diamond back from. So starting with the library, I'll give you tips on how to complete all three activities. And then at the end, I'll show you the two collectibles that are here, the backpack trophy that is here, and also how to unlock the secret loot room. So as we head into the library and reconstruct the Echo, you'll see the three investigations. On the left side over there is the Outcast server equipment. We've got the improvised explosive device and the secure radio headset. We'll be starting left to right. So we're going to investigate the Outcast server equipment. And to start this one off, just look at this server in front of you. You've got this yellow cable that's going along the floor. Follow this cable. And you'll come up to these two lifts where you can interact with the button. Interact, there'll be an enemy inside. You'll need to defeat this enemy. And there'll be other enemies in the area that you're going to need to kill to secure it. With all the enemies in the area clear, you can head back to the elevator and use the terminal. Your next objective is to find the terminals in the science collection. If you're not familiar with Kenley College, you won't know where this is. So just follow that yellow cable all the way back here where the server was, right at the start near the echo. And then just through the center doors, the science collection is over to the left here. You can see it's signposted on the door. As you enter this area, the terminal will be displayed for you. You just need to head over to it and interact with it. As soon as you interact, it's going to start an activity where you're going to be infiltrating the network. It won't be sticking at this server though, and enemies are going to spawn in and try and destroy it. You've got about five minutes to defend it. You'll notice the objective in the top left corner now is defend terminal two. There's three in total. It will switch around between the three. So every time it does, just make sure you're giving an extra priority wherever that is located. But it's very easy to do to survive the five minutes and clear all the enemies. Once you've survived that time limit and the area is clear, you're going to get another objective to search for the final terminal on the cabled network. If it takes you too long to figure this out like it did for me, the game will eventually tell you where it is. But all you need to do is where you interacted with the terminal in this area before the last activity here, just follow that yellow cable around to this and just behind this server is a big thick cable. Follow this cable and it's going to take you to the next activity. 
The cable will bring you into this room here up to another server box with a thinner yellow cable coming off of that. You want to continue to follow the thin yellow cable. This is going to take you upstairs and it'll take you to a door that you can't get into. But just next to the door is this yellow junction box, a very easy puzzle to solve. You shoot that, the door will open and you'll find this other terminal. This will be the end to that investigation and your next objective is to return to the Echo. There will be an encounter with some ads along the way, so just clear them, and once you get back to the Echo, you can complete the investigation. Next, we are going to investigate the improvised explosive device. Your first objective is to search for IEDs in the octagon, and that is straight ahead from where you just interacted with the Echo. So head through this hallway and run straight the way down to the bottom, and you'll find the octagon main collections. This is the area that you need to be in, and as soon as you enter, you'll have to clear it out of enemies. With all the enemies clear, you'll have to investigate the IED triggering system, which will be displayed to you. And then there'll be a fire that you need to put out. So just where you interacted with the system to the right of that, you'll notice that there's this fire panel that you need to activate. With that activated, there are three valves that you need to turn. One is right next to the fire panel. And then once that one's done, you can just follow the pipe around to find the other two. So this pipe is just going to be heading upstairs there. So head up these steps to the right of us. or we'll interact with the second valve here. And for the third valve, it is locked behind a door that you need to open. So again, follow the yellow pipe. But you'll see this yellow junction box in that room there. That's where you need to get into. So shoot that yellow junction box. And then just follow the route that I take here. And you'll be able to go through a door to get inside the room you just opened. There will be some ads that spawn though. So just take care of these. And that door there where we just saw that enemy, that's a room we need to get into. And then once inside, you're going to find the third and final valve on the wall here. Once all three valves are done, you're going to have some more enemies and your objective is going to be to secure the area. And with the area secured, it will display the next objective for you and you must analyze the IED remains. This will trigger another sequence with enemies and you'll need to secure the area again. And with the area secure, your objective will be to return to the Echo to complete the investigation. With that investigation completed, you've got one left to go in the library, and that's to secure the radio handset. Your first objective is to search for outcasts in the science collection. So you just want to go through the center doors again, just from the Echo, and the science collection is just to the left where I'm heading now. You'll see science collection above the door. Once you enter this area, you'll go into an activity where you just have to secure the area. With that done, there is a little bit of a puzzle to do now. You must search for the outcast radio activity. You'll find this by heading upstairs in this area. Just follow where I am now. You'll notice all these books. And there'll be a door that you can find which you cannot open with this control panel and lots of colored cables coming off of it. So we'll interact with that. It'll let us know we can't get in there. We've got to disable the alarm system. And here it is. Now you can see it's pink, purple, blue, and yellow from left to right. And all you've got to do, I think it's got to be in this order just follow the pink one first then the purple then the blue and then the yellow at the end there'll be something to interact with but before you can interact with it you do need to reactivate the system or at least try to first so just press f or interact with this and then you're ready to go so follow the pink cable first that won't take you too far I'll just take you to the right of the control panel over here where you can rewire it and then next you want to follow the purple cable I'm just skipping ahead here because this is very simple to do. There's no, nothing special about this. Just follow it and interact. So that's the second one done. And then you want to follow the third cable, which is the blue one. And you'll interact with this terminal here. And finally, the fourth cable will be the yellow one. Just follow this one. And this is the longest one of the lot. And you'll rewire this terminal here. Like I said, I think they do need to be done in that order. So just do it like that. Then go back up and interact with that control panel. This door is then going to open and you're going to find the radio system here and you can use the terminal. Once you've used that terminal, your next objective is to search for comms terminals in the exhibition room. So just head back outside. 
And the easiest way to find this is to find this yellow cable. Just follow the yellow cable back down the stairs. And this is going to take you out of this like main room that we're in. And into this lobby area here. Look for this restock box that I'm going to interact with now to get some ammo. And from there, right in front of you is the exhibitions. Just head through this doorway and you want to go straight upstairs. This is where there's some more terminals. You've got Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. You'll interact with both of these. And when you do, there's going to be a little radius that you need to stay in. And you'll just be defending it from ads. And once you've infiltrated both of the comms, one final area will be highlighted and you'll need to infiltrate these comms as well. The area will be right in front of you and it'll light up the second that you touch it. Now, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner of the screen there is a remaining proximity and a timer ticking down. That timer is how long you've got to infiltrate these comms. So you can leave this area if you want to, but if you don't get that infiltrating comms at 100% within that time limit, you will fail. So stay in this area as much as you can. And providing that you don't leave this area, you'll complete this with over two minutes left on the clock. So it's very easy to do. Once you've done that, you'll just have the final objective to secure the area. And with all enemies clear, there'll be a radio handset that appears in the last area that you infiltrated. Just pick that up and you'll be asked to return to the Echo. As this was the last investigation that we did, once you hand this in and complete it, you'll have completed the library part of Kenley College and there's no more activities to do. If it is your first time clearing this, the game will introduce you to Kenley College Masteries. Masteries are something that you can do to challenge yourself further if you want to replay this. And they act like a time trial. So at the start of the library where we entered, you'll see here you can start it again. You can do the story, normal, hard, challenging, or heroic. On normal, hard, or challenging, you can toggle whether mastery is on or off. With mastery on, you'll be timed to complete it within 40 minutes for bronze, 30 minutes for silver, or 20 minutes for gold. Now, I don't bother with this, and I'm not going to give you any tips on how to do this. If you enjoy Kenny College, which I think you'll be one of the very few, you can go at it and have a go at this. And you will have a mastery modifier as well, which is called Dead Drop, where all enemies will drop grenades when killed. And depending on the time, you've got some like tier rewards that you're going to get. You'll get some rewards for getting bronze. You'll then have silver rewards added onto that if you get silver. And you'll have gold rewards added onto that if you manage to get gold. And you'll have your normal completion rewards on top of that as well. There's nothing special or anything like that here. You're just going to be getting some shade supplies, crafting materials, equipment items, and a lot of XP. That's all that's involved in the Kenley College Masteries. There are, however, a few more things I want to show you before we move on, because in the library, as we said at the start of the video, there are some collectibles, there's a backpack trophy, and there's a secret loot room as well. So first, I'm going to cover the collectibles and backpack trophy, and what you can do when you're going for these, just go back to the Echo after you've restarted the mission, just start this Outcast server equipment. You won't have to face any enemies until you actually interact with something here, so you've got the whole of the library available. Head through the left door here, and you're going to find a first collectible the liberal arts you can pick that up and i will show you on the map exactly where this is located as well and what i'm going to do now is show you where the second collectible is along with the backpack trophy as well i'll start from where the echo is and just follow my route to find these items How are you holding up? Fine. We're always stretched pretty thin before the new fiscal year. I just hope we don't lose that grant money. You'll get it. I don't know about you, but the health center is basically at capacity.
And finally, to finish off the library, I'm going to show you where the secret loot room is and how to gain access. This is going to work the same in each of the three main areas of Kenley College. Throughout the whole area, so in this instance, the library, there are five switches, and one of them you can interact with. Each time you play it, it could be a different switch. So I'm going to show you the location of all five switches. You just need to find which one is interactable, and once you find it, you can come to this room. If I think it's needed, I'll just be showing you the location to each of these switches from the position of the main echo in this area. But if it's easier to show you from the last location, I will also do that. Now that you have a gist as to how this guide works, we'll move on to Kenley Metro Station. This will work exactly the same as we just did the library. I'll be giving you a little bit of a walkthrough on how to complete all three of the investigations. And at the end, I'll show you where the two collectibles are, the backpack trophy, and the location of the five switches, which one needs to be interacted with in order to get to the secret loot room. So here's the reconstructed echo. And as you can see, there's three again, just the same as the library. You've got one over to the left, the center, and to the right and just like before we'll start on the left with the deployed ieds as soon as the investigation has started you must search for ied triggers in the filtration area head into the left and through the door on the left as soon as you hop over you'll find this hole in the floor and when you drop down here this is where the filtration area is just run straight ahead you just jump through this window that's in front of us and the moment you jump through the window you'll be given the objective to secure the area with the area secure, you then have to access the IED triggers. So interact with this terminal, it'll display it on the screen for you. And you'll have a timer that starts ticking down where you've got to prevent the detonation. You'll see three objectives come up. You must defuse IED at G, C, and A. 
You've got plenty of time, but make your way there as quick as possible and defuse them. And as you defuse the second one, some enemies will start to spawn in. Just make sure you get the third one as well because it's still ticking down and you don't want it to explode. Once you've defused all three, it's just a matter of defending them. So just get yourself in a good position just up here where the two are is perfect. And just kill all the ads that come in. If any of them do start making the timer go down again on one of the terminals, you will need to go and interact with it again. But if you stay up here and kill ads quickly, it shouldn't be a problem. You have have just over four minutes in total from when you started this activity to defend these terminals. As soon as that clock finishes ticking down, you'd have completed the activity and you just have to secure the area. With the area secure, you'll be given another objective to search for the outcast leaders. The easiest way to find these is just where you defuse two of these bombs earlier up top. If you notice this door here, you just want to run through here. And as you go through the next doorway, you'll trigger the activity that has popped up on the screen now. So all you got to do is take out the leaders and any other ads. And once you have done that and you have secured the area, you have completed this investigation and you can head back to the Echo. The next investigation I'm going to cover is the large chemical tank. Your first objective is to search for the chemical tank on the metro platform. And from the echo, you can go either way, left or right, and just stick to the main route. So go down the escalator, whichever way you go, ignore all the side doors, and eventually you'll come to the metro platform. And you'll get your first objective to secure the area. With the area clear, your next objective is to expose the chemical tanks. And it's just this in the center. Notice the yellow junction box. There'll be one either side. But I think if you just shoot one of them, this will expose the tanks. As long as you've got a hard enough build, you'll be able to take care of these very quickly. Your objective is to destroy the chemical tanks. There will be a named enemy on you and other enemies spawning in. So just be careful of them. But just shoot these tanks as quick as you can. Get them destroyed and clear the area of enemies. With that objective done, you've now got another puzzle and you must search for the control room on the metro platform. Just head upstairs and then you'll see where we were just down below with the chemical tanks. The control room is just up here. You'll see it on this side of the room. You've got to shoot the padlock off, enter it, and you'll notice this screen in front of you. Just go and interact with it. Once you've interacted with the terminal, your objective will be to reset the correct system fuses. And it's quite an easy puzzle, but it might be different for you. Notice on the screens in front of me, I've got two different letters. I've got A and I've got C. So you'll see A here on the left screen, C on the right screen, but there's A, B, C, and D. So you'll have a different combination potentially, but it still works exactly the same. Notice these cables coming out underneath. Just follow these cables. And this first cable I follow takes me to D. So I know that this is not one of them. I'm not sure if you've got to do it in the order in which it shows you on the screen. So tr I'm going to try and do A first and then C in case that is the case. And you'll see that I've just found A by following that second cable coming from the computer. So I'm going to interact with that one because that's the first letter that's shown on the screens. I'm then going to follow the other two cables. A has been covered now. So I now need to go and find C. So the third cable that I follow will come around here and the letter on the wall is B this time. So I've got to leave that one alone because it's not C. So I'll come back to the screen and follow the final cable and this is going to take me to C. I hit him that order, A and C. Potentially, I could have done C and A. I'm not 100% if it has to be in order or not. But once you get it right, you can come back and interact with the terminal, and the objective will be completed. You'll then get a new objective to search the intake silo. So from where we are at the terminal, just go straight ahead and drop down this hole that you dropped down earlier. We're not going to go straight ahead this time. Instead, when we get to the window, we're going to take a right. And the silo is just over here. We can jump over this gate and the intake silo is right in front of us. As soon as we enter here, we will have some ads and we'll get a new objective to vent the toxic gas. There's three interactions we need to do in this room to do that you'll have to manage with the ads while you do it and you're looking for things like this they're just free switches and they're all on the lower ground so you don't need to go up the steps or anything like that they'll mark them for you as well when you get close to them there's the first one there's the second one that i found and then here's the third one 
that I found. It's a small room. You won't have any difficulty finding that. Once you've pulled all three, your objective is to secure the area. And with the area secure, you have completed your second investigation at Metro Station and you can return to the Echo. And that then takes us on to the third and final investigation, Deployed Military Server. And you should know where you're going for this one. Your first objective for this is to search for the server on the Metro platform. So the same again, you can go left or right from the Echo. Just keep following the main path around until you get to the Metro platform. And then it'll give you an objective to access the server. This will be displayed on your screen. You just need to drop down to the lower level and interact with the terminal. We've done this before in the library. You just got to stay in this position that's highlighted. Ads will come at you and you've got to remain in this proximity for 2 minutes and 48 seconds or at least that's the countdown you basically got to finish the infiltration progress before that counts down i stayed in this highlighted area for the whole time and only had 49 seconds to spare when it finished and as soon as you finish this one it's going to ask you to go and find a second server on the metro platform You'll find this directly opposite from the last server that you just did. So just push forward and you'll find the second terminal. Interact with that and it's exactly the same again. With that server infiltrated, you'll then just have to secure the area. And with the area secure, your next objective is to search for the server in the filtration area. From where you are, the easiest way to get to the filtration area is to head up the escalators and go through the control room that we used before because from there, it's easy to get to where you need to be. So here's the control room up top. I'm just picking up some ammo. Go into the control room and go straight ahead through the doors and this is where this big hole is in the floor. You can drop down this hole and straight in front of you is the filtration area. Jump through this window and the game will show you exactly where the next server is and you just need to go and access it. And it'll be exactly the same again. There'll be a timer ticking down. You'll need to stay in this radius as often as you can to get 100% infiltration. With that server done, you've then just got to secure the area of enemies and we're going to have another puzzle. Your objective marker will take you to this valve and your objective is to release the water pressure. To complete this puzzle, you've just got to interact with this valve to begin with. And now will show you that there's a problem with the water pressure. And you've got to hit some switches. So as you follow this big yellow tube or pipe round, you'll notice where these switches are. You can see you can turn this lever here. It's got like a hazard background. There are other switches that don't have the hazard background. There's a second one here with the hazard background, so we can do that. If you see any switches without the background, like this one here to my left there, you may have noticed it don't turn it just turn the ones with that background there's three in total as you follow that pipe around the room and once you've done all three head back to the valve at the start and interact to complete the objective with that puzzle done you'll have a new objective to search for the manifold in the intake silo just head right from that valve that we interacted with and out this door and there's the intake silo. We were here earlier when we had to hit those three switches when we were getting gassed. It's a little bit different this time and as long as you've got a hard hit and build, you're going to be able to do this very, very quickly. You'll get an objective that says expose the manifold and all you're going to do to do that is just head to the objective markers and as long as you interact with one of them, it'll open up the manifold. Now with enough DPS, you can get this done in one go. You'll see how quickly I do it now. If you don't manage to destroy it in the time that you've got, you just need, then need to go and find another switch to open it up and try again. But you've got enough switches to get it done. It's just that ads are spawning is in as you're doing this. So be careful of that. Once that manifold is destroyed, you just got to secure the area. And with the area secure, we finally finish this investigation. And you can return to the Echo. And with that investigation completed, you'd have completed the metro station of Kenley College. You'll unlock the mastery version of this mission just like the library and now i'm going to show you where both collectibles are the backpack trophy and also the five switches where one will be interactable to get to the secret room just remember you're going to need to come out of this and just restart the mission and then select an echo again to open it all up for you Investigation selected. Deployed IEDs. 
Triggering frequencies detected. Isaac is picking up a high volume of encrypted frequencies. If each of these frequencies is an IED, they can decimate DC. Proteus to base. Mission failed. Outcasts have taken the site. They're using the hydrogen chloride we recovered to make IED. Tell me the truth. I fucking hate this room remote bullshit. Sarah's talking about quarantine procedures. Advising people to wash the... And now for the final area of Kenley College, the Kenley College Student Union. This works exactly the same as the other two areas. We're going to have an echo, we're going to have three investigations, two collectibles, a backpack trophy, and five switches to find one that's interactable for a secret loot room. We'll start with the echo on the left again, as we have done with the previous two areas of Kenley College, and that is going to be the IED terminals. 
As soon as you have interacted with the Echo, take the left audio towards the sports bar, taking an immediate right, and there'll be a JTF officer on the floor. It'll be a dead body, you'll have to search for it, and then you've got to search for more JTF casualties. The best way to do this is just to follow the bloodstain on the floor. This bloodstain is very easy to follow, however, when you get into this area here, it does start to get a little bit faded. So from this uh, chair, just take a right and then go right in this room here where you've got a freezer, interact with it and you'll find the next JTF casualty. This will drop a key for you, you'll want to pick up that hardware key and you'll get the next objective. And this objective is to search for server terminal in the sports bar. We're right next to the sports bar, if you just come out of that room and go straight ahead and you'll see the sports bar is just above this door here, it's straight on and you'll get the objective marker on your screen then and you just want to interact with this terminal. It's the same old really, you'll see that you've got a proximity that you've got to remain within, you've got an infiltration progress bar, so stay in this proximity and fill out that bar as quick as possible. Once you've filled that bar out, you will need to secure the area of any enemies. And once you've done that, you'll get another objective to search for the server terminal in the coffee shop. To get to the coffee shop from this room, just from the terminal where you just had to defend, head to the left side of the room and exit here, take an immediate right, go to the end of this corridor, take a left, and then the coffee shop is just going to be on the right hand side here. As you enter the coffee shop, it will give you the location of the next terminal. You just want to interact with this, and it's going to be the same again. Remain in the proximity and fill out the bar. Once that is done, you'll just have to secure the area. And with the area secure, you're going to get a new objective to locate the IEDs in the lecture hall. So from the coffee shop and from the terminal that we just defended, to get to the lecture hall, head to the right side of the room from that terminal, and you want to exit through this door here, where you've got this fountain. Take a left, and you'll see the sign right above there saying lecture hall. You want to go straight through into the lecture hall and you get the objectives of three different IED detonations. You need to interact with all three of these. It's very similar to an objective we did previous in one of the other areas. You've got to interact with three as quick as possible. You'll see the time is ticking down there. You've only got about 40 seconds, I want to say, from when you entered the room. Just interact with all three of them and then you've got to prevent the detonation for the remainder of the time. So once I've interacted with this now, I'm going to have four minutes to stop enemies from going to interact with these. This position I uh, take now is quite a good one. You can see all three of the IEDs from here. And the enemies will be quite aggressive and try and go for them. So try and make sure they don't get them. If they do, it's just a case of having to go and interact with them again yourself to make sure they don't get detonated and just kill the enemies as quick as possible until the time runs out. Once you have completed that task and secured the area, you'll be done with this investigation and you can return to the Echo. The next investigation that we're going to cover is the one in the center here, Communications Jamming Hub. Your first objective will be to search for the comms jamming hub in the coffee shop. So just from the Echo, go straight ahead. You'll see the coffee shop right in front of you and a restock on the floor if you need it. As you enter the coffee shop, your first objective is to secure the area. And once it's secured, your objective is to access the comms jamming hub, which is just on top of the coffee shop in the center. This is another little puzzle for you, the same as what you've dealt with already, and you'll see the colors on the screen there. We've got blue, red, green, and purple in that order. So we've just got to go and follow these wires. I'm following the blue one now to interact with something at the end of it. So just follow these wires to where to go. This blue one will go up top here, so we just have to go up these stairs, and then I'll be able to interact at the end of the blue cable in this room. I'll have this little terminal here that I've got to deactivate. Nothing here is too difficult at all. Just make sure you do it in order. So red is next, then it's green, and then it's purple. Follow them, interact, and once they are all done, as you head back to the computer, it's going to jam and you'll move on to the next objective. 
and that objective is to search for outcast activity in the lecture hall from the computer just drop down to the left and you want to head over here through this door and once through take a left take a right and then take another right and keep on running through this door to take a left and the lecture hall is just going to be through here once you get there you just have to secure the area and with the area secure you're then going to get the outcast leaders these are named enemies and you can only do damage to them when they are on fire so you can equip a fire starter chem launcher if you want and with the fire starter chem launcher you can do quite a bit of damage to them so i'll just show you on screen now i'm going to fire a spitfire i'll detonate that and it takes quite a bit of his armor off this is the only way you can do damage to both of the named enemies, except for when they do this. They'll head to these red boxes that he was on there. I just used a fire starter to blow him up. But you can shoot those red boxes when they head to them, and that will also set them on fire. You'll see here that Kin is at another one. I've just fired a fire chem at him, and I'm going to shoot at him now to finish him. Once you've killed both of the named enemies like that, you just need to clear the area of any remaining enemies. And then you'll be done with the investigation. You can now go and return to the Echo. The final investigation to cover is the JTF Engineer. Your first objective is to search for holding cells in the lecture hall. And the lecture hall is just to the right here. You can see it's signposted. Just follow those signposts all the way to the lecture hall. And as soon as you get there, you're going to get an objective to secure the area. So hit the restock if you need to and clear any enemies in this area. The last enemy that you kill is going to drop a cell key and you just need to pick this up. With that key collected, just follow the objective marker to the cell that is in this room to free the engineer. From here on out, it is very straightforward. All you've got to do is protect the engineer. So follow them. They're just going to do their thing. And then as they're doing that, enemies are going to come in to try and take out the engineer. So you just need to dispose of them. There will be three locations that the engineer goes to and you'll need to defend them from. And in the end, they'll run right back to the start of the area where the Echo is and you'll be able to complete the investigation. With that done, the Kenley Student Union is complete and you'd have unlocked the mastery challenges if you want to partake in them. But right now, just make sure you come and reset the mission because I'm going to show you where the two collectibles are, the backpack trophy and the five switches where one is going to be interactable so you can get into the secret room. Just come and activate this left echo again, the IED. You won't need to face any enemies and I'll show you the location of all of this now. There's the terminals. One of the JTF officers should have it. Hey mom, so school is fucking closed. I did all those stupid podcasts for no reason. Finals are canceled and they ordered an emergency. Cases, the Derby Ball. I fucking told him. You let them have a party. Kids who are sick as fuck will down a bunch of pink.
with the library, metro station and student union complete, you'll unlock the final room which is Kenley Chapel. You can see it on the map here. There's no more puzzles now or no more investigations or anything like that. Just follow your GPS to get to the chapel and you'll be able to unlock the door providing all the three areas are complete. And inside is one final loot box for you to loot and this will give you the Diamondback Exotic. You'll be able to do this every single time that Kenley College Expedition is on rotation. But with all the loot rooms, so that's the secret loot room in each of the areas and this loot box here, you will be able to open them all daily while the expedition is on for the high end loot. And finally, to finish off this guide, the only thing you're missing now is five more collectibles that are all on the outside. If I bring up the map from where we enter the area at, you've got two collectibles there near the Kenley Library. There's one in between the station and the Union. And then there's one near the chapel with the final one just south of the chapel here. What I'm going to do now is just run around and grab all five of these so you can see a visual. Proteus calling in my sit rep. It's 1700 hours we are on the way to the target, should reach the reservoir in the next couple of hours. We were able to recover some supplies and call. Hey mom, just wanted to let you know that I made it back, and I'm fine. The dorm didn't burn down. Flight was garbage. We were delayed three hours and had to switch planes because some fatty broke the plane. Good news, Blue Ladies killed it at the lacrosse derby. Derby ball this year is gonna be sick. The team is amazeballs. Mom, I gotta go. My roomie just came back. She's not feeling great. They think she has strep or something. I promised to go to the health center and pick up her prescription. Anyway, just wanted to let you know I made it back and didn't get murdered on the metro. Love you. Welcome to KenleyCast, the only podcast for and about Kenley College that gets you extra credit in your history and media production courses. This is Eve, and today we are talking about the history of Kenley. Exciting stuff. I know we've all heard the rumors about the secret society... Welcome back to Kenley Cast, the only podcast that's still casting. I know we've talked about some of the weird shit on campus, like the obelisk. I mean, could there be, like, a more phallic symbol just hanging out in the quad? We get it. You are a men's organization. Proteus to base. Once collected, you can double check if you've got them all by going into your collectibles menu. And in the bottom right tab there, field data, these are the ones for Kenley College. And you'll see you're at 100%. And that is everything for my Kenley College guide in 2024. I hope this has been helpful. Please do hit like, drop a comment down below if it has been. Subscribe for more content. And if you need any more beginner guides to Division 2 in 2024, I've got a whole playlist full of them. Just go and check that playlist out in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this one. And until next time, take care and peace out.